once the Microsoft Learning Pathway site gets created over here, the first thing to remember is that only the tenant admin by default has access to it, right? So I am the tenant admin over here. I'm the one who created the site and I have access to it. Now you'll usually want to give it to a business manager or learning and development person or something like that. So you'll want to go and say site permissions and then you want to share the site with that person or that group of people. So you click on share site and you can just say, okay, whoever it is, you know, let's say Alex or something. Click on that, make sure they have full control and then you add them. You can add a group or you can add a person. Okay, so once you do that, then that person can actually manage the Learning Pathway site and they can configure it for the users. Okay, so once the user, whoever it is, or a bunch of people who have access to the Learning Pathways as owners, they'll wanna make sure to configure the site in a way uh, that it's ready for the end users, for the employees of the organization. Keep in mind that what you're seeing over here as an admin is almost exactly what your users are gonna see. So they'll see things like uh, feedback forum. Do you want them to go to the feedback forum? I, probably not. You probably want to go to the feedback forum for, for Microsoft and give feedback. And same thing with technical, technical community. You might be the one that wants to go there, not send your users, end users there. So you might want to take some of that stuff out. Easy to do so. Clicking on edit, you can just go ahead and remove some of that stuff if you wanted. So here you go. You can just say remove like that. I won't do it right now, but that's how you would do it. Um, you can also delete any of the pages you don't want. So by default, you got training events calendar. I'll go there. If you have training events, you can configure here. Wonderful. If you don't, I'm going to suggest you either take that page out from the navigation or delete that page altogether. Now, taking the page out from navigation, I already showed you how to do that. If you want to delete the page, you can just go to site contents. And from site contents, you can delete any of the pages by going to site pages all the pages on the site are going to be right here, right? So you can go ahead and delete the stuff that you don't want your users to see. Uh, hiding it, deleting it, up to you. Hiding it is fine, but obviously users will still be able to discover these things, so it's up to you what you want to do. All right, coming back here. Actually, let me just go back like this first. Okay, so at this point in time, I'm going to show you that all the stuff that I'm looking at over here as an admin, my users can see all that stuff as well. Here's a user point of view, okay? This is Adele that's signed in over here. And she's able to see all these links currently, okay? Everything, uh, even Admin Success Center and administration. I don't want her to see all that stuff. That doesn't really make any sense, right? Get started with the Admin Success Center. Nope, I don't want her to see any of that stuff. So I need to take that stuff out. All right, so going back to the admin, I'm the admin again here. In here, as I already, talked about the navigation, you can go and edit this page and take out the components you don't want. This stuff, for example, you can delete this. Same thing with other stuff. If you don't want your users to see it, delete it, replace it with the stuff you do want them to see. Okay, I won't do that right now. Let me just discard the changes for now. Okay, after that, the main thing, these tiles here, what do you want them to see? Do you want them to start with the six simple steps? If you do, great, check it out. If it makes sense to you, keep it. Otherwise, delete any of these things you don't want them to see. The most important thing that you want to make sure is when you go to the Microsoft 365 training here, you want to only show them the stuff, the tiles that make sense for your company, for your organization, right? So uh, if these things make sense, wonderful. If they don't, take it out. Similarly, if there's um, applications you're not using. For example, if you're not using Yammer or Planner, you're not ready with that stuff yet. Take it out. And at the bottom, I definitely suggest these th two things, Tools and Admin Success Center. I don't think you want your users to go there. Currently, if I'm a user, which I am here, Adele, once again, I click on Microsoft 365 Training. I can see everything that a admin can see. Yeah, you don't want them to go to Admin Success Center and do all that stuff. So, uh, let's let's take some of that stuff out, yeah? Okay, so f as an admin, here's what I'm gonna do. I have access to this gear over here. So when I'm in the Microsoft 365 training, I can click on this gear, which the users cannot see. I'll prove that to you. Here we go, the users don't see the gear, great. As an admin, I'm gonna go to the gear. It takes me to the administration. You can also get to the administration by going from home to uh, learning pathways administration. Either way, once you get here, you want to make sure to hide the stuff that you don't want your users to see, okay? So these are all different products right here. 
and within each product so if I click on for example OneDrive that's a product these are different playlists and this eye over here basically uh, currently says it's visible and you can hide those categories so for OneDrive fine that's fine Yammer maybe I want to hide that if I'm not ready for this yet so I'm gonna click on hide okay and as I was saying before with these tools tools and admin success center you want to hide that as well let me just hide one of them for right now to show you hide there is no save after that by the way so you click on it and it's done so I come back here as a user I'll click on refresh and then as you know I hidden I've hidden yammer so no yammer anymore I don't see that as a user and success center I don't see that either which is definitely uh, the intended you know what I intended to do and now maybe the most important thing over here and please don't forget this that as an admin you have access to the site but nobody else does right now so you want to make sure once you're done configuring everything you go to site permissions and you want to make sure that site visitors is not empty it was empty to begin with and I put this in there the way you could do this is click on share site and then this is this is up to you if you want everybody in the organization to have access to it you want specific people specific groups you decide you could simply say everyone and this will do everyone except external users you want to give them read access not full control not edit once you do that click on add and that's what I got right here so now everybody in the company has access to the site alright so now once you've done all that stuff the next step obviously is to get people to this site so you want to make sure that this particular site right here you give them access give them bookmarks give them links from places where they are to come to the site and motivate them to be able to use the site 